Hi, do you want to learn how to pull off a powerful photo show effect just like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we get started, smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribe and I will get back to you and answer all your questions. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to Video Content Creator Secret Channel. I've imported my to the media. If I haven't done that, do the same thing. Now let's highlight them and drag them down to the timeline. Depending on how many images you have. Now we're going to use this for our background. So we're going to crop it to fill the screen. Now to avoid all this black space by the side. So right click on it, go to pan and zoom, click on pan, go to pan and zoom, click on crop. Then drop the, in the drop down you choose 16.9, then you adjust it, then click OK. Now you can see the space is gone. Now go to the next one, do the same thing, go to pan and zoom. Click our uh, crop, then from the drop down you click on 16.9 and then you adjust it, adjust it on the screen and you click OK. As you can see, the space is gone. So do the same thing for all the other photos. It depends on how many pictures you want to use. So you go one after the other and do it. And I'm gonna fast forward it here. All right, we're done with that. The second thing we need to do, we need to add blur to the, to the images. We don't want it too bright. So you go to effects, search for square blur. Yeah, there is it. You drag it down and drop it on it. Then you, you drag it in order to, to cover all. Now you can see the, the blur images then. Now our picture is blocked, it's suitable for our background. Now that's the way we want it. And you go back to your media. And you need to drag down the images one after the other and stop them on, on them. So you just highlight them and drag them just like we did the first time. Make sure each of the images is on directly on top of each other. So now that we've got Alright, the next thing we need to do is to add border to our image. So we go to effects or click on utility and you search for border Then drag it down and drop it on the first picture. You can see the border has been applied and you click double click on the border. You go to the settings, click on video. Now I want to make some setting to the border, some changes to the border so you can increase the, the, the size, change the color. The start and the under finished. Then we can make it a uh, blur. Re reduce the reduce the saturation. Then when we're done, when we're satisfied with the first one, in order to avoid re repetition, all we need to do is to copy the effect and paste. So right click on it, then click on copy effects and go to the next uh, picture and right click and click on paste effects you can see the uh, that's affected it so right click click on paste effects and paste it on all the other ones and it should take the same effect too now haven't been done with that let's pre-render it to make the playback faster. So let's play it and see. Alright, the effect, the effect has been applied on all the images. Alright, the next thing we need to do is to add animation. We need to do is to click on the image, 
and then you double click on the animation and it to do show on the view on a view on a viewer here so do the same to each of the objects or each of the photos left click on the photo then you double click on the on the image on the motion and double click on the motion you want while you see the changes on the screen now you can go ahead take your time and choose the one that is appropriate for you you don't have to be too specific it doesn't have to be the same just go through it test them one after the other and choose the one that goes with your slide that we're done with that just go through it and see what we have all right let's pre render it to make the, pl the playback faster to, to get rid of this thread line all right we're done so let's see what we have isn't it wonderful Alright, this is great but we're not done yet there's a lot we can do to it we can for example we can add um, transition yeah yes let's do that let's go to transition click on transition now let's pick and choose transition that will go along with the slide you don't have to be too specific here yeah? all you need to do is to look at the movement of your of your of your slides then you pick a transition that will go with it so just go through it take your time go through one after the other test them and all you need to do is to drag it down and place it in between the two images and then you test them again if you're not okay with it just right click right click on the right click on it then choose delete then you delete it and you go back and choose another while you're doing it you're testing the one after the other when you satisfy you move to the other one so let's move faster all right now that we're done let's test it and see how it is is it wonderful Let's go through it. If you're satisfied with it, we'll move to the next one. We're not done yet. There's something more we can do. So the next thing we're going to do is to add some sound, some sound effects. So I have some sound effect here. I'm going to try it. I'll drag, test it, draw it down, and bring it to the timeline, to the audio timeline. So after testing it, all right. Let's use this. Now you can test it. Now you may not be able to hear sound there because I muted. But don't worry, when we're done with it, we're going to play the final product. We're going to play the result and you're going to hear the sound. So all you need to do is to get the sound that goes with the gliding, with the movement. And if you don't have it, it's not a mandatory. It's not necessary, but it's important. So take your time. We adjust it well and make sure it goes with it. Then. We'll move to the next stage. I'm gonna fast forward it right here. So you can also adjust the audio just to make sure it's not too loud. 
because some of the people that may be watching me using headphones so you make sure the sound is okay it's cool it's not too loud so adjust the sound and, and you can do that by double clicking on it then the, the, this window will open and you go in there you drag and correct it all right now that we're done you can test it and hear how it is you can hear it now but there's one there's one more thing we can do before we round up this tutorial we can add uh, music music background music so you go look for music I'm gonna search for one I can can put you can go through the Femora library or you can import another one so I think I'm gonna import another one All right, let's add an audio track. So drag it down, place it there. You can go through, you can test it a little bit. Hear the sound, if it's too high, you can adjust it. Then drag it, cut out any part you don't want. Then you test it again and feel how it is. And you double click on it if it's too loud double click on it and adjust it go to the window and adjust it you listen to it again you do it over and over again until you get the right sounds now when you're done now it's too long we don't need the other part you cut it and delete it now you adjust the the volume from the beginning you fade it out from the beginning and the end uh, to blend so you go over it again you listen to it one more time listen to it over and over and again if you're not satisfied you go back and make some adjustment to it you can lower the voice or increase the voice but make sure it's, it's right just go over it until you get it right Congratulations, we've come to the end and now all we need to do is to do, is to go over it some few times but sometimes you go through you go over it when there's anything to fix you fix it you make sure the sounds it is the same it goes with the sound make sure the pictures are, are okay just test everything and make sure they're just in the right place and they're just okay and when you're satisfied with it what's the next thing to do well you know what next to do exports you export it click ok and this settings make sure it's mp4 and you can change the name if you want to write whatever you want there and you click OK to export it, to render it. Now, it's going to take time. It depends on how heavy the file is. So we're not going to sit here and be watching until it's done. So we're going to go let it do. Then we'll come back and watch the final product. All right. So it is done. Now, here is the final product. What do you think about it? 
isn't it awesome so thank you for doing this with me and I hope you enjoy it and if you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and don't forget to share it with your friends and click the like button and encourage us to make more videos like this and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video for me I'm out and hey don't forget to click on the video at the end of this video for more tutorials